fire extinguishers are essential tools for protecting lives and property, providing a first line of defense against small fires. These life-saving devices are found in nearly every building, from homes to workplaces. Yet few people understand how they work or are made. In this video, we'll take an inside look at the mechanics behind fire extinguishers, revealing the process behind their creation and why they're vital for fire safety. The invention of the fire extinguisher dates back to 1723, when English chemist Ambrose Godfrey developed a basic device using a barrel of water combined with gunpowder for pressure. As time passed, fire extinguishers evolved from rudimentary designs into the advanced models we rely on today. Early versions used water or soda acid mixtures, but modern fire extinguishers utilize various chemicals to fight different types of fires more effectively. With significant advancements in materials and design, fire extinguishers are now tailored to meet specific fire hazards. Whether it's an electrical fire, oil-based fire, or a traditional wood and paper fire, there's an extinguisher designed to handle each scenario. These devices not only save lives, but also prevent small fires from growing into large-scale disasters. Understanding how they're made and operate helps us appreciate their significance in everyday life. At the core of every fire extinguisher is a simple yet effective design that allows it to release a powerful stream of fire suppressing agents. To understand how fire extinguishers are made, it's important to break down the components and their manufacturing process. Number 1. The Cylinder The cylinder is the most visible part of the fire extinguisher. Typically made of steel or aluminum, this component is crucial because it must withstand the pressure needed to propel the fire suppressing agent out with force. The manufacturing process starts with raw steel or aluminum sheets that are cut, shaped, and welded to form a durable, airtight container. Once the cylinder is formed, it's thoroughly tested to ensure it can safely contain the high pressure required. Number 2. The Valve and Handle Assembly Next is the valve and handle assembly, a vital part of controlling the fire extinguisher's operation. The valve is designed to keep the fire suppressing agent securely inside until it's needed. It also features a safety pin that prevents accidental discharge. In manufacturing, precision is key, as even the slightest defect could result in malfunction. Once the valve is created, it's paired with a sturdy handle, which the user presses to release the fire suppressant. Number 3. The Pressure Gauge Most fire extinguishers come with a pressure gauge, which indicates whether the extinguisher is pressurized and ready for use. This gauge is a small but critical component typically made from high-grade materials or plastics to ensure durability. During manufacturing, the gauge is calibrated to show when the pressure inside the cylinder is at an optimal level. It is tested rigorously to ensure it provides accurate readings, as a fire extinguisher without sufficient pressure could fail during an emergency. Number 4. The Fire Suppressing Agent The most important part of any fire extinguisher is its fire suppressing agent. Depending on the type of fire extinguisher, the contents may include water, foam, dry powder, carbon dioxide, or other specialized chemicals. Each agent works differently. Water-based extinguishers are used for fires involving wood, paper, or textiles. Dry chemical extinguishers, filled with powders like monoammonium phosphate, are effective for Class A, B, and C fires, which include combustibles, flammable liquids, and electrical fires. CO2 extinguishers displace oxygen and cool the fire, making them ideal for electrical fires. Foam extinguishers create a barrier between the fire and the fuel source, which is especially useful for liquid-based fires. In manufacturing, these agents are carefully formulated and stored in specialized facilities before being pumped into the fire extinguisher cylinders. The filling process is tightly controlled to prevent leaks and ensure the proper amount of agent is used. Number 5. Final Assembly and Testing after the cylinder is filled with a fire suppressing agent, the extinguisher goes through final assembly where the valve, handle, and other components are attached. The extinguisher is then pressurized using compressed air or nitrogen, depending on the type. Once fully assembled, each unit undergoes rigorous testing, including pressure testing and discharge trials to ensure it will work when needed. Number 6. Testing and Refilling the process of refilling and repressurizing fire extinguisher starts by fully discharging the extinguisher to empty it. The valve assembly is removed and the extinguisher is inspected internally for any signs of corrosion or damage. After cleaning, the appropriate extinguishing agent, such as dry chemical powder, water, or foam, is added. The extinguisher is then resealed and its valve assembly is replaced. 
Repressurization follows using nitrogen or compressed air, depending on the extinguisher type, ensuring the gauge shows the correct pressure. Finally, a leak test is performed to confirm proper sealing. Regular maintenance ensures the device is ready for emergencies. To ensure fire extinguishers are always ready for use, proper maintenance is essential. Experts recommend that extinguishers be inspected monthly to ensure they're fully pressurized, with no visible damage or leaks. Annual professional inspections are also recommended, along with the complete recharge or replacement every five to six years, depending on the type. Keeping them in easily accessible areas and knowing how to operate them is critical for safety. Innovations in fire safety are also emerging, such as smart extinguishers that connect to alarm systems and automatically alert authorities when discharged. These advancements are helping to further improve fire safety in homes and businesses. Through ongoing maintenance and advancements in fire safety technology, fire extinguishers will continue to play a key role in fire prevention and emergency response. So the next time you see a fire extinguisher hanging on the wall, remember the engineering and safety standards that ensure it's ready to protect you when you need it most. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with friends. Subscribe to our channel for more behind-the-scenes looks at essential technologies and safety equipment.